Hi, I'm Robert Marjan from Croydon Racing Developments, the owner and driver of Jun 2, the world's quickest GDR full stop. Today we're unveiling Zeus. I think everyone knows that we've sort of reached the uh, limits of the R32 chassis with um, Jun 2. We were tossing and turning which way we're going to head after that and we decided that we really need to build a serious car that we can put our engine platform and all the development that we've done into a car that can, that can take it. So we want to take this to the next level. We want to stay true to the RV engine platform because that's what we're experts at and uh, we think there's a lot of, lot of success that we can get out of it. With this car, we um, originally purchased a body that was great, but we found that where we wanted to be, we had to make a lot of modifications. So we decided to um, approach top stage and we built a whole new mold that this car now looks and obviously um, is, is shaped like for various reasons. One, obviously the uh, length of the car. Two, we needed to fit the rear wheels where we wanted them. We wanted the rake to be um, level across the whole car. And obviously a couple of little things that um, we added to it to make sure that the car at the power level and the time that we want to run, that it works. One of the factors as well was the weight of the car. So we were, uh, the, one of the directives with um, Top Stage was that we wanted to build a, a true dry carbon body that was as light as possible, but strong. When we received the finished article and we saw the carbon work, we thought, well, look, we, we can't paint over this. You know? So we decided to airbrush it. Um, as you can see, the, the, it is an R35 shape, so it wasn't too difficult to make it look like the car that it is now. But by clear coating it, it uh, shows off the um, raw carbon look and it just pops. So we, we love it. As well with what we do, we want this to present well at the track. So we wanted it to look like the best looking pram mods and in particular a GDR. When we decided to build this car, approach Craig from SEF Race Cars. We um, sat together and engineered how we're going to build this car to be one of the world's best pro mods. We wanted the car to be something special and take us to the next level. We wanted to compete with all door cars full stop. So every bit of component that's been added to the drivetrain, to the chassis build, how the four link works, all played a part in where we ended up today. The rear diff is a billet 11 inch deal. Obviously Craig designed the um, four link um, bracketry. So we can run it both as a radial car and obviously the big tire car. We're using a T-Extreme Liberty five speed gearbox and it's a lock up deal with um, a tie drive. The 115 inch pro mod length, legal length car. The finish of work that the guys at SCF did is just amazing. You know, like I couldn't be happier. Now it's up to us, obviously put the power plant in it that we, we know is tried and true. Um, we've run 224 mile an hour in June, so, and we weren't able to push it to the limits, but now we've got a platform that we can. And that's what's very important to us is that we finally have something that we can push our engine package and see where it's really going to end up at. So the engine package we have in this, as I said, is similar to June's. It's an RB30 billet block, RB30 crank, a Canito, a 3.2 stroker kit, which is again, the same as what we run in June. It's a wide journal bearing engine. Uh, it's our developed head with JHH. We're trialing a um, big 110, 114 precision, bigger than what we have in June, but we're also looking to run bigger boost as well. It's a four injector setup, as I think once before gone through with June, um, ID 2600s. So obviously we've had a lot of assistance and help with great Australian companies like PRP, TPC, just with any components that we wanted to work, like to engineer to be, to, to work on this platform you know they've all come to the party and been great so PRP developed the um, rear-wheel drive billet sump setup with the um, pump sitting on the cold side which I think is a big thing for us because we don't we didn't, we didn't want it to sit on the hot side because of heat reasons but the fuel pump sitting behind it it's all nice and neat and it's been custom designed and it works in street cars as well so that's the beauty of it like it can work 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 both street cars and in race cars also the um, trigger kit cam drives as I said rocker covers all been developed and designed by PRP for us and the workmanship is really great. Very happy with it. While all this was happening, we were also working with them to design the four wheel drive sump, billet sump as well, which we're going to be trialing in June for GDR Festival. We look, we're looking forward to using it. We've built the chassis to be able to run a mid five second pass. Now it's up to us, obviously, as I said, with the power plant to make sure that we develop enough power and be able to use it in the chassis properly, because that's what it's all about, it's about power delivery. Well, from here on in, now that the body's done, we get, we're cracking straight into it day and night. We've got wiring and we've got plumbing. We've got an engine built ready to put in there. And then it's about set, setting it all up. We're hoping that we can get it finished in about 
three to four weeks to a point where we can start programming and putting on a dyno and just seeing what it does. We 100% want to shake it down at GDR Festival, if not earlier. Again, I just want to say thank you, obviously, to Croydon Racing, to SCF Race Cars, to NITO, to PRP, to CPC, and Owls Race Glides. Without those guys, I wouldn't be where I am.